Hey y'all, happy Tuesday. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Hannah. I'm a flight attendant and we are currently in Philly. It's a rainy Tuesday. I haven't done like hardly anything today. I don't know why I'm like losing my voice. <laughs> oh my goodness. So yesterday was Labor Day. I had the weekend off, so that was nice. I was able to move things around. I took the weekend off, hung out with one of my friends for her birthday, and then I got in. I got home yesterday and I had to report around 3 p.m. So we landed really late in Philly last night. And then today we are going to San Diego. And then tomorrow we go home. We only have one leg going home tomorrow. So I'm really excited about that. About to go to the gym really quick just to get like a little quick workout in, probably walk. And our pickup to pickup time today is 4.35 p.m. So, and right now it's about 3.30. One thing I'm most excited about though is we're flying into Salt Lake. So we're going Philly to Salt Lake, Salt Lake to San Diego. And I don't know who else knows about Cafe Rio. I just learned about it recently. Everyone was telling me like, you must go to Cafe Rio. There's one in the airport. It's so delicious. I got like this pulled pork quesadilla. It was so freaking good. And I've been dreaming about that quesadilla for a while now. I don't love working longer flights. So you know, I usually do those short little domestic flights. And going to, I think today's like a four hour flight, I think. But it's a little bit longer for me. So we do two services on this one, but it's gonna be worth it. Don't even care. Like I'm so excited for Cafe Rio. <laughs> Also do a quick little room tour for you guys since we got in late last night. Here's where you walk in. We've got our little bathroom in here, a little mirror, and one big bed, another mirror, watching friends, of course. And this is probably, this isn't my favorite hotel, but I do love the little view. Like look how cute it is down there will say they do have a fridge and that's always a plus for me. I'm about to warm up some meatloaf in the microwave and then finish getting ready. I'm super pumped about these. Someone told me about this place called Clean Eats. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of it. There's one um, about 30 minutes from where I live and they have prepackaged frozen meals. And yes, I know this is called meal prepping. And yes, I could probably do this for a lot cheaper than $6.99. I don't know though, meatloaf, low carb, I don't know. Either way, I'm just not one of those gals that likes to meal prep and I take forever. And these are already frozen meals and it was not that expensive. I bought three of them for my trip just so I could have at least one every day. It's pretty good. Like I said earlier, we are about to work two legs. I'm just finishing getting ready. I've got to dry my hair. I really wish I would have brought a Celsius on this trip. I'm not struggling. I'm not like super tired right now, but it's gonna be a late night and I'm just like trying to mentally prepare myself for another late night. Also, I feel like I haven't even said this. Happy September, y'all. I haven't posted a video. I've been slacking. I've been doing a really, really bad job just because I've been so busy. It's hard. It's hard flying and then trying to edit your videos, but then also getting enough sleep and then also hanging out with your people and doing your normal everyday chores at home, working out, like it's a lot. I don't know how people who have even more stuff on their plate do it. I feel like I have the bare minimum and I'm barely like hanging on. I love it, but I'm struggling so bear with me with my my past two weeks I guess that I haven't posted anything and it's super annoying I know but happy September I'm super excited I've been like putting together a little fall list of things that I want to do because I know that it's going to go in the blink of an eye it's already September 6th which is crazy so I want to put together of like things that I really want to do this month and next month for example apple picking is it necessary no do I want to do it yes who else loves apple picking? Also going to the pumpkin patch. My schedule is just already crazy, so I wanna make sure like I get those things in. Definitely ready for cozy vibes. It's still really hot in Georgia, and I think I'm gonna wait until like the end of September when I start decorating for fall, just because I'm that kind of person. Like I love the holidays for the holiday months. So I'll decorate the end of September for October. I'm just so excited. This is definitely my favorite season. 
or my favorite time of the whole year like all of my favorite seasons are just back to back to back and I'm so excited and I can't wait to do so many fun festivities <laughs> okay so I'm gonna finish getting ready probably make some coffee to go and mentally prepare myself to work these two flights but also get excited for Cafe Rio tonight just made it to San Diego. I've already done room checks. I've already got friends going. It is 12.30 a.m. here and 3.30 a.m. my time in Atlanta. I am exhausted per usual. So I'm gonna make this quick. Just got to the room. Already did my room checks. Gonna check my bed really quick wash my face and get in bed. I'm so, so sleepy. Um, we check out tomorrow at like, or our van pickups like 1.25 p.m. So at least I get to sleep in and I'm just so happy. I'm so tired. The ride was great. It wasn't a bad flight. I got Cafe Rio when we were in Salt Lake, which was incredible and it was so yummy. So not mad about it. But yeah, today was a good day. Two easy flights, not bad at all. They were just long and it was just a long night or a long day. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all cozy and get in bed. This is super obnoxious. So look how many waters I have. I swear I'm gonna have all of them drank by tomorrow. I swear. <laughs> Refrigerator two nights in a row. This is incredible. I'm so excited because I still have one more meal left that I'll probably eat for lunch tomorrow. So props to San Diego. This is awesome. I love this. Okay, it feels cold, so I think it's working. Just put that in there. Oh no! I, this is why you don't use these because they get wet. They melt in your bag. Put those in there. We've got one more just to keep it cold. Okay, so I feel like I should consolidate these. So we're gonna do that really quick because this is very extra that I have so many of these. Yay! Now we only got two bottles. So it is the next day. It's about 12.30 right now. I'm just getting ready. Our van pickup is at like, I think it's 1.20. And it's go home day. So we only have, <laughs> only have one leg going back to Atlanta. Hmm. It just never happens. This was actually such a great trip though. My crew has been so great. The legs have been pretty easy. Last night getting into San Diego, it was a super light load. There was hardly any passengers on that flight. I got yummy dinner, which is always a plus. I was a little nervous about this trip only because I'm not a long flight kind of gal. I don't love the four hour flights. I was gonna get up and go to the gym because I had like a 12 hour layover but I have a really busy day tomorrow since I haven't been home, just getting, basically getting my life together. My precious crew member knocked on my door about 11.30 and I was like, who is knocking on my door? I was so freaked out. And it was her and she had gotten a huge 
box of donuts. She was like, I was craving donuts. And when I say like huge box, like 12 gourmet donuts. And she knocked on each of our doors and gave us a donut. And I thought that was the most precious thing ever. The best way to start my morning, well my day since it was 11.30. I'm working galley on the way home tonight. So I'll be setting up the carts and getting them ready. We'll have two services on this flight since it's long. And I'm really excited because I like being in the back on the last day. Y'all, I had to rush to get ready towards the end. I've got like 10 minutes to get downstairs. I'm gonna go ahead and head that way because it's kind of a long walk. But one leg home, let's do it. Probably gonna get myself a coffee because I feel like I deserve it. I feel like I deserve it every day when I'm in the airport. And it'll probably be my third pumpkin spice latte this week. Yes. I am a pumpkin spice latte gal. And I have no shame. That's already unlocked. We're good. So it is the next day. I made it home. I slept in super late this morning because my time was completely off. This was an overall really great trip. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I do apologize again for slacking on being for taking forever to get this po to get another video posted, but I promise you that I will not wait this long. We will have another video next week. Really wanting to try to get a better schedule and being on top of myself of getting these out at a specific time so you're not like waiting around wondering when I'm gonna post them. But thank you guys for sticking around. It means the world. It means the world that you watch my videos. And I love when y'all comment and we get to interact. If you don't already, make sure you follow me on Instagram. I post a lot more of my day to day when I am traveling and on the go. So you can just kind of see a little bit more behind the scenes of things that I don't always post. If you haven't subscribed already, please make sure to subscribe and definitely leave me a comment if you have any questions or if you just want to say hi or anything like that. Um, I love getting back to you guys. And I also love meeting you guys. I've met a lot of people in the airport. So if you ever see me in the airport, don't be creepy. No one's been creepy, but don't ever be creepy. But definitely come say hi. I love meeting you guys. I will see you guys in my next video.